ECMAScript 2016 was a very small release, especially compared to ES6 and ES5. So I thought I would deal with it in one tutorial. It's really quite simple to talk about the whole release in one tutorial because there are really only two main features. An include method that was added to the array prototype and an exponentiation operator that was added. So let's first take a look at these new features and then we'll look at how to use them. So first, the include method. This is now a method you can use on arrays. And what it does is it checks to see if the value you place in between the parentheses is a part of the array. It's very similar to the index of method that was added in ES5. Just a bit simpler to use than index of. Second, the exponentiation operator. This operator is two asterisk and basically what you're seeing on the screen means return four to the power of five. So let me jump to Sublime and we'll look at a few examples. First off, I want to do a very simple example that shows how to use includes or how it might be used. I'm going to create an array that has some names in it. And one more. So there's my array with names. Now just a simple function here that's going to process that array. If an, the name exists, it will indicate such. If not, it will go ahead and add the name to the array. That's what this function is going to do. So we'll use a simple if statement to check to see if the name exists inside the array. And this is where we use the includes method. We pass in the name, and so that will return either a true or a false. So if it returns true, then we'll simply log this to the console. Just a log statement indicating that that name is already a part of the array. If it returns false, then we'll go ahead and add it. using the push method and also log to the console that the name was added. All right, so pretty simple, pretty simple method. But it shows how we would use includes. So really quick, couple of calls, check name. We'll first do one that is not in the array, and then we'll do one that is in the array. Now, this part right here, just to make you aware, this little portion right there is equivalent to index of, pass in the name, and then checking to see if it's greater than negative one. Index up basically returns, if it finds it in the array, returns the index of that element where it found it. So includes is just a simpler way to determine whether the item exists in the array or not. All right, let me save that. Jump out, refresh, open the console. Indicates James was added and Amy is already a member. So in both cases that worked. Now, the exponentiation operator, very simple. You can do it right here in the console. And so that's four to the power of five returns 1024. That is very similar, or really the exact same thing as math.pow, whoops. And then you pass in the number and then what you want it raised to. So once again, a simpler way to accomplish the same thing we could do with the math object. So those are the two main features of ECMAScript 2016. If you found that helpful, I'd appreciate if you'd like the video. 
we have a number of tutorials and you can access those tutorials from our website. The URL is listed on the screen. To view another tutorial from our YouTube channel, click the video link in the center of the screen. To subscribe to our channel, click the circle link on the left. We release a new video every week. And to visit our website for other tutorials and resources on JavaScript, click the link on the right. Thanks for watching.